Out of applause you hear is for Jackie Young, who had a contingent of about 30 people on hand on that Friday game. A similar group here today, a former Miss Basketball in the state of Indiana. Mitchell trying to get it over Stokes, able to get it to Smith, who pushes it over the... It's hard, and the way that the defense is moving, especially a great defensive team, uh, you might not always have the confidence to do that, but it was a zipper pass right through the lane, and it could not have been a better... Seven points and eight rebounds over her last eight games. Smith is the league's fifth leading rebounder, and there's four former MVPs in front of her. First. Henderson wide open. Smith the rebound and Smith the put back. Well, it hasn't been a great difference and, and get back out. I think they read off of each other so well, know each other's strengths. Alyssa Smith will make her second trip to the line. But this is just a blip on the radar. She shot almost 80% from the line in her career at Baylor. And she said all four this afternoon after a good game on Friday. A 5'9 guard, and they took Kayla Pointer with the 13th pick, Shepard with the 23rd pick, and it was Shepard that made her way on the roster out of camp. Maybe a little bit of an upset from the beginning of training camp. Alyssa Smith knocks down a three. And Alyssa Smith. Make that defense move. Don't let anything come easy. Shepard, step back three, that high arcing shot off target. Here is Smith pulling up and burying the three. Oh, that was really uh, it got her going last game on Friday night. Uh, she's 0 for 4 in this game, but she has found other ways to score. And I think that's a, game. That's an easy 20-point game for D. Henny right there. It's a really good point. Anderson had all of her points from the perimeter on Friday and has none of them from the now it's Smith running the floor, bounce pass. Tiffany Mitchell just left the reverse shorts, and there's Smith. AT accounted for 53% of Connecticut's points at Seattle. In that win, they scored 93 points. As Melissa Smith knocks down a three, and Indiana's got the lead. Four of Connecticut's starters, pardon me, have now scored. The exception of Heidemann. Iso ball through the lane, Melissa Smith. Carrington staying low. She said that in the preseason. That's a key to my game on this end of the floor. Tough shot. Smith rattles it home. It's DB's first three of the night. Mitchell could not answer. Melissa Smith. Connecticut, when this lineup was on the floor in their last three games, the three-game win streak, a plus 34. But if you're the fever, that's too easy. I mean, it was one pass to the wing and then one post-entry pass. They've got to have some help come. Might need a little more help, though, inside, too. Nalissa Smith banging with the bigs. Third member of the Sun into double figures, Dewana Bonner. Mitchell puts the head down, kicks to Smith. 13-point game once again. 15 for Smith. You know, we talked about it earlier and that there hasn't been a WBA team that has repeated in over 10, 15 years. So, John Cole Jones is flirting with a double double for Connecticut. This skip pass. Heidemann still trying to find it. Breezy on the O glass again. But it's swiped by Smith. One of the things that Peggy Hammond really wanted to focus on was take away straight line drives and especially drives in the middle of the floor. This level. But a lot of talent and there's the takeaway inside. Emily Engsler's checked in. She brings it up and gets it to Destiny Henderson. We'll get us some more Sky Miles, Christian. <laughs> we sure will. And then they go to DC, Dallas, and Seattle. And that Seattle game is going to be a big one as Atlanta came out ready to go, and every team they're going to face at this point is going to do that. And you've got an Indiana Fever team as Melissa Smith drives that one in. That you see in Asia Wilson as she steps up to that three-point line is a beautiful thing. Smith gets one from the top. Melissa Smith, 35% three-point shooter for sure. High pick and roll, Cannon. Back out to Smith, she'll take it and sticks it. Stokes was there and in the vicinity, but not close enough. Smith, oh, the three. Outside, inside, Melissa Smith looking for a shot. 
I like the energy of Kirsten Bell. She's got, she's light on her feet. She's constantly moving. Oh, Melissa Smith. 35% three-point shooter is Teresa Plaisance. Ball fake by Smith, just hit one earlier, and now the finger roll right baseline. Melissa Smith just taking on the aces single-handedly. And she finished way low. Smith, oh, another one. Melissa Smith with her... Mitchell using that Smith screen, able to feed it into Smith, and Smith lays it in. Mitchell already has nine for Indiana on four of seven shooting. He's come out aggressive and been effective here so far as Melissa Smith goes right back to work and gets the roll. Look the direction of Kelsey Mitchell who kicks out to Smith. Smith on the drive and Smith, a strong finish, muscling her way inside. Cross-court pass, Mabry is wide open. And way off target on a three. Robinson ahead to the Melissa Smith as a Wale gives chase. And the Fever rookie lays it in. And off to steal. Mitchell couldn't finish inside. That was Tiffany. Kelsey pulled it down and able to kick out to Melissa Smith. Who buries a three? That's Dallas's first scoring of the quarter. Indiana red hot. Melissa Smith is open again and buries another. And that's a significant drop when you don't have one of the league's top scorers in the rotation for you. Melissa Smith going at another rookie in Knox Hillman, and that's bully ball. The power game. Between Lexi Hull, Smith going right at Knox Hillman. She's able to draw the contact, so that'll be a foul assessed against Hillman. It's showing up and doing what we do best every day. So the conversation is not about the playoffs, it's about the dream playing like the dream. Smith gets the bucket under. And that one would have got everyone out of their seat if Ryan Howard was able to knock that one down. Smith instead does the honors. Ryan Howard has only scored two points in this half. Smith. Really threaded the needle right there. That's that a passing ability that I love to talk about for Kelsey Mitchell is one of her biggest areas of the game. Oh, Robinson volleyball knocked to the head, and there's Melissa. Six seconds left, and uh, plays like that, you want to be extremely organized, especially when you enter the game uh, and go in there and, and make that push. This is something I think that really points, 10 rebounds, and said she's looking to score a little bit more, and the Fever got it to her there, albeit. Late in the shot clock, but the number two overall. It's great ball movement and patience from this guy right there. They top her with five points here in the early going. The Chicago team has so much depth, so much balance. Even without Candace Parker, they've had six different leading scores this year. As Smith on the fake, and Smith and scores. Man, what a story that Gardner has. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Gardner is... A 31-year-old rookie. There are a few players that have a similar story to hers this year. It's been one of the really fun storylines to follow in the WNBA this year as Smith crosses it over. Smith taking it at B. Smith. Smith gets to here. No, we've, we've seen it time and time again, Pat, just that ability for Kelsey Mitchell to get hot. You know, she sees one go through, and, and the second, and third, and next thing you know, she's up to the race. Oh, there's Smith. Stevens, the shot fake, steps back on Smith. Smith taking it right back at Stevens. There's Smith. Ability in her handle. I forget how well she handled the ball. Anderson off balance. There's Robinson pulling down the rebound. And a much better start to the third for Indiana. Mitchell whips it inside. For this turnaround, Credit Carlos knocks two. Yeah. Changing up that rotation in the third quarter. And Indiana got a real lift from the rookie fourth overall pick. Smith staying aggressive, pulls up. Sidelines. A real headsy play there to keep the possession alive here for the Fever. Yeah, even though nobody touched it, it would have been an over and back had she went to go get it on the other side of that half court. Mitchell over to Smith. No, listen. Is... Smith the shot fake, Smith the drive, and the rarely missed tonight. 
Indiana catches a huge break. You know, they don't need a three here. They just need a good shot uh, for the best shot that they can get. They look the direction of Alyssa Smith on a career high. Smith turns, spins, draws the in the WNBA. He's on. What the coaches have asked of Bridget Carlton be more aggressive, more confident, and shoot more shots. And Rachel Bannum gave her the three goggles. Seal of approval from Bannum. Vivians. It's Smith and Melissa Smith. Three. Bridget Carlton up to nine points tonight. She must be thinking about her Canadian team because she is playing fantastic basketball. Really confident out there tonight for Bridget. This is Team Canada, Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tiffany Mitchell. They were doing some chatting. Yes, they certainly were. She did not appreciate that. Smith. It's the little two Chicago for the 2022 WNBA All-Star Game. First return. They don't have to set up in their half court every time down. Robinson. Daniel Robinson to Smith. Melissa Smith. Drainage of opportunities that you get. So that's one thing about this lineup that has rotated quite a bit this season. The players are getting the opportunity to show what they can do in the starting lineup. Smith turns and faces Shepard. Melissa Smith. Oh, a nice under. Up and under. That was a significant foul for her in this instance. Powers hits all three free throws. Robinson gets it knocked loose by Jefferson. This is a nice battle and matchup with Robinson and Jefferson. Vivian kicks it out to Smith. Melissa Smith. Ball and finishing at the basket. Nicolina Milic had 18 earlier this year in a game against Chicago. She's got 15 now and has scored the last seven for Minnesota. Smith past week Wednesday at Connecticut. And she could not only get second in minutes played and made two of the three. Smith. Felix guarding her and Alyssa Smith takes a tough two. Cheyenne Parker unable to connect on that three, but Nalissa Smith, she dials it in from the three-point line. A, a screen to be set for you when you get out of sync offensively and you just spread the floor and you create from that. Smith pulls up and knocks it down. Alyssa Smith from the mid-range. They've turned it over 11 times, but the Fever haven't always had easy sledding off the turnovers as Mitchell pops free but can't get it to go. Smith kick out, Mitchell try number two, and that one will fall for Kelsey Mitchell. Just with the steal, pushing the ball, realized she didn't have an advantage and waited for Coffey to trail for the jump shot. Here's Smith backing in on Coffey. The strong move for Smith and the finish. And a flex of those biceps along with it, Alyssa Smith. There's Alyssa Smith with her third rebound. She's averaging a double-double, and this is oftentimes where she's at her best. Run in the break. Oh, there's Alyssa Smith. Robinson shouting out directions as Wheeler swipes at it. These are two pesky point guards. It's been a fun matchup tonight. Vivian's turning, and that quick hook over Howard. And that already ties her for the third most points in a game this year. Henderson underneath. Smith able to grab it. Here's an Alyssa Smith three. She rattles it home. Almost trigger your memory that she's wearing a different jersey. <laughs> Smith open again. Howard for an Alyssa Smith. Rob directing traffic. Emily Engsler getting set to check in for the fever. Smith hassled by Cunningham and draws the personal foul. Yeah, Smith so strong guard, so there's getting more touches. They're more versatile. Smith 
a great bucket against Gustafson, who tried to do everything she could to defend her. Up four, Kelsey Mitchell just locked up defensively. Smith at 6'4", almost not tall enough to handle that pass, but then gets the runner from where she took off from. D-Rob reversing, but doesn't get the roll. Bodies fly. Ainsler again, in and out, no. And the ball stays with the fever, and off the window goes Smith. Heading back door is Kelsey Mitchell. They'll go to the corner with three on the way, and snapping it home, Melissa Smith. She is such an impressive play. Field goals, Talbot in January. 10-2 Seattle run, they lead by 15, and that was squelched quickly there by Nalissa Smith. Got Colleen Egbo on the high post, decides not to go to her. She'll call her own number though, and she misses that one, and look what I found, Melissa Smith to put